Good morning. I'm leaving the uh, Quality Inn here in Carlisle. Had a nice night. My breakfast wasn't super fancy, you know, but it was included in the rate, 60 bucks. Not too bad. Room was clean as far as I could tell. I did some laundry in the sink and uh, man, a lot of dirt come out of my socks, and my shorts and shirt. So it's kind of nice to be wearing clean clothes today. That'll last an hour or so maybe. That little bridge there where the uh, double bottom truck is just starting to go under. Down by the red lights. Let's see if I can zoom in. That bridge there, that's the Appalachian Trail. Doesn't look like much from here, but that's where I'm headed. I'll go down. Since I'm headed southbound, I go down and I understand there's a Blue Blaze Trail just before it. It goes out to the left and I'll go up and see up the trail. here I see the no pedestrian signs and, and they're all, all on all four corners so I'm not sure how we were supposed to get to the trail unless we violate one of those signs so I'm gonna do it As much as I don't like the green tunnel, we're now moving into uh, some field walking, which puts us out in the sun. So I'm glad I'm hitting this in the morning. It's about 65 degrees, maybe 15 Celsius. So it won't be real too bad. It's real humid today, and that's not really fun. Pretty corn though. After all the rocks in northern Pennsylvania, uh, I find myself surprised that uh, I come to a road and I say, oh good, some road walking. The trail from Carlisle down to here, I, I don't think I've gone a mile, has been really nice. Uh, very few rocks and you know, the rocks you can step around and, and uh, they're not hurting your ankles, that kind of stuff. But I get here and I say, okay, which way do I go? Because look, the, the road does a curve here. And you can look and zoom in if you want, but I'm not seeing any white blazes from here. And that's okay, then what you do is you just, you know, take a walk one way and see what you come up with. Maybe something comes up, you can always come back. You can always look back. And look at that, there is a white blaze on this tree. And note that it favors this direction so if someone's coming northbound I'm going southbound they're coming northbound the blaze is written on the tree so it favors them so half of looking at blazes is looking backwards so my guess is it'll go this way so I'll head that way for a while 
If I see a blaze, great. If not, uh, down there where the, the sun is shining again, I'll stop and check far out. That's far enough uh, for far out to tell me that I'm off trail. So you can't get lost out here. Ooh, look what I just saw. Ooh. Let's see if I can bring it in for you. Oh, look at that. Do you see it? It's a clue, a clue. The trail just crosses this road. It doesn't follow it. So I don't get my road walk after all. Well, I got a few miles in today, south of Carlisle, heading towards Boiling Springs. I had a guy tell me a little bit ago, there's a uh, pint ice cream at the gas station. So I got myself a goal for today. Alec Kennedy uh, Shelter, maybe further. I'm not in a big rush, so I got to be to uh, Pine Grove Furnace State Park by Saturday, and today is Saturday. Uh, so I've got a whole week to do, eh, three days of backpacking maybe. I'm gonna kind of take it easy. I'm gonna eat that ice cream. The nature of the trail, is uh, totally different here compared to north of Port Clinton, especially north of uh, Lehigh Gap. Um, very few rocks, oh, once in a while a root. Um, uh, it is a green tunnel, no exposed areas. The views don't tend to be of valleys, they tend to be a farmland. Um, still beautiful though. Uh, it's real hot and humid today, um, for sure 80, probably on both, uh, 80 uh, degrees and 80% humidity. Um, but it's great, having fun, beating lots of northbounders. On your way through Boiling Springs, don't forget to soak your toes in the little creek. Visit the ACT building, which on Saturdays is closed by the way. But their picnic tables work just fine. There's a couple electrical outlets and they got water around back and you don't have to treat it or filter it. It's pretty cool. What a cute little park. There's a gazebo you can kind of barely see there. Nice little place to hang out for a while.
Here's the backpacker campground near Boiling Springs. I thought it was just going to be uh, an open field, but it's actually a grove of trees. It's real nice. There's uh, really plenty of tenting space, and it's pretty much flat, so it's pretty good. Um, some hammocks here, too. I want to show off my bear hang. Again, that's a uh, friction knot, and I'll put together a short video at some point just showing you how I do that. In the summer, maybe it's not such a big deal, but in the winter, uh, rain, snows, temperature drops below freezing, in the morning you can't untie it. And so it's a real good uh, way to hang that you should know. All right, there's my uh, home for tonight. I'm the orange tent and, and among all the rest of them. I want to go over uh, roses, buds, and thorns. Roses, the, the trail today from Carlisle down to uh, uh, Boiling Springs is absolutely beautiful. For the most part, flat, you know, not uh, flat like with a ruler and uh, exactly flat. A, a few ups and downs here and there, nothing real strenuous and no rocks, no roots. Again, yeah, okay, there were some. Maybe there was 10 yards of a, a rock scramble, but not more than that. It, uh, some of the trail did go besides, uh, go along a, uh, field and for the most part I was there in the shade so it was okay. Buds I'm looking for a short day tomorrow a couple uh, <coughs> maybe four miles or so up to the next shelter okay, going southbound and then um, that's their only bud. Uh, oh sorry other roses um, uh, met a whole mess of people today. Uh, Streamline, uh, Drummer Girl, uh, Lucky, um, Middleman, several others as well. We had a lot of time just sitting, talking, having, uh, eating food. Also, um, Cousin It, uh, just having a blast here in Bowling Springs. A nice, nice uh, town. Got some good ice cream, yummy. Um, so the bud is a short day tomorrow. Thorn, um, the humidity's really high and that's just uncomfortable. It's kind of hard to get a good night's sleep if you're all sticky. So I'll give myself a uh, baby, baby wipe bath uh, tonight to kind of cool off and clean off whatever um, sticky, yucky mess I got on me. Uh, but otherwise, it's been a great day, having a good time. Uh, weather's a little warm, you know, but it's it's been a good day, real good day. So, see you later, bye.